Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this Photoshop Elements Add Snow video, we'll be taking this photograph here, this nice winter photograph, and adding some snow onto it, a bit of a snow flurry in front, making it look a lot more active. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, and of course, click on share, and also click on subscribe. I do several videos every single week. You can find out more about that on my channel. Also, if you want to learn a lot more about Photoshop Elements, really learn how to use the whole program, Take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. For this Photoshop Elements Add Snow project, we'll be using two pictures. This first one here, this girl in this snowy forest, and then this picture over here of some out-of-focus lights. At this point, this really isn't good for snow, so we'll have to make some adjustments on this, make it look more like snow, and we can then add this picture into that background picture there. Okay, you can find both these images on my website. You can download these, and there's a link for that in the description. Let's now modify this so it looks more like snow. We'll start off by going over here to our layer, right-click, and let's duplicate that layer. I always do that as a safety just in case I don't want to damage my original image, which is right here on layer zero. Okay, up here, a few things. First off, I don't want to have this kind of a bluish tint in here. So let's convert this over to black and white. Go up to enhance, come down to convert to black and white. I'll leave it at the defaults. That's fine. Choose OK. There we go. Now the snow is going to be very close to the camera. So it needs to be more out of focus than this. You need to blur it out more than this. So I'll do a little blur effect on this. So come up to filter, come down to blur, and let's do a Gaussian blur right here. And I have mine set at six pixels right there, just a bit more blurry. And that's good, six pixels, choose OK. And also the snow should be moving, so it needs to be streaking a little bit here inside of our image. And that's also easy to do with a blur filter. Go up to filter, come down to blur, and then motion blur right there and I have mine set with an angle of negative 30 right there and distance of 52. Kind of hard to see on the foreground but you can really see it in these little thin ones down here. You can see how, how far they've moved there on that blur and that gives it that motion effect. So it appears like it's actually moving through your image. Last thing we need to do is to increase the contrast a little bit. It's a little low on contrast. So let's go up here to Enhance, come down to Adjust Lighting and Levels. And then I'll bring up the black control right here. As I bring this up, it brings the darks a lot darker. And I want to have this at about 31. I'll just type that in right down here. But I want to bring the midtones back again. This is our midtone value here. Move this to the left. That bring those midtones back up again. And what I used was 173. Here's 172 and 173. There it is. And on the whites over here, I'll bring this up a ways as well. And bring up to 178, which is right there. And 173 looks pretty good. It just adds a lot of contrast into the image. It makes us can see the streaks a lot better. So 31, 173, and 178 and then choose OK. Now I did all of that on that one layer up here on purpose. Normally I'll, I would divide those up into separate layers and do adjustment layers and so forth. But I did all of this on just the one layer because it's easy to recreate that stuff. And also being on one layer I can now just take this layer over here and drag it onto that picture right there. And there it is. OK, let's just minimize this. And I'll just position this so it fits the picture. Both these pictures are the same size, so they fit exactly. And all the work has already been done at this point. That was really it. All we have to do now is just to blend this into the picture behind it. And that's going up here to the blend mode and come down to screen. And there you go. That fast, that easy. So there it is. That's how to add some moving snow flurries here onto a photograph. Now to make this work out well, there are a few things to watch out for. You want to make sure you have those blurs in there properly. I think this is maybe just a bit too bright. Let's bring the opacity down just a little bit here. 
Maybe about 85, just a touch. Got to take off the brightness. And that, that's a better, it's a better match now with the snow back there. But having the scene already be a snowy scene helps a lot. It makes this look a lot more like it actually should be snow. It's more believable if there's snow in the picture. But aside from that, as you can see, very fast, very easy, and very effective trick. So there you go. There's without. There's with. Just like that. Technically, this is called a snow overlay. But there it is. That's all there is to it. And again, you can make this even out of something which doesn't look at all like snow, as we did here in our original image, that one, as long as you go through and make the proper adjustments to create a good snow overlay. So there it is, adding snow to a picture. Don't forget to hit that like button and click on share as well. Both of those really help my channel out. And also to help you out, don't forget to subscribe as well. That way you won't miss any of my videos in the future. I do videos all the time. You don't want to miss any of those. Also, if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, the best way is with my training course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, see you next time.